Given the two graphs are G1 and G2, in this tutorial I'm going to find number one at the union of G1 and G2, number two the intersection of G1 and G2, number three the ring sum of uh, G1 and G2. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first question there, the union of uh, the graphs are G1 and G2. When you are looking at uh, the union of uh, those two graphs, we are looking at uh, the vertices and edges that are in G1 or in G2, and we form a single graph. So I'll start by looking at uh, the vertices uh, in G1. We have a V1, a V2, then a V3, and then we go on to a V5, then we have a V6. Those are the vertices uh, in a uh, graph. Uh, G1. Then for the edges, we have an edge between V1 and V2, an edge between V2 and V3, an edge between V3 and V5, an edge between V5 and V6, an edge between V1 and V6, an edge between V1 and V5, and lastly, an edge between V2 and V5. So those are the vertices and edges in the graph G1. But in addition to those vertices and edges, we are going to add the vertices and edges which are in G2. So we already have a V2, V3, and V5. What we need to add there is the V4 there, and then the edge which connects V3 and V4, and then an edge which connects V4 and V5. So in this case, we are now having all the edges and vertices that are in G1 or in G2. I now move on to the second question, the intersection of G1 and G2. For the intersection, we are looking at uh, edges and vertices that are in both uh, G1 and G2. So we look at uh, the vertices that are in both G1 and G2, and we see that we have a V2 there. It is in uh, G1 and G2, and a V3, it is in G1 and G2, and then a V5, it is in G1 and G2. Then we look at uh, the edges that are in G1 and G2. And the edges that are common there, we have a an edge between V2 and V3, then an edge between V3 and V5. So those are the common vertices and edges. So that is our intersection there, G1, intersection G2. I now move on to the next question, the ring sum of G1 and G2. When we are looking at the ring sum, what we do is we remove the intersection from the union. So what you do is from the union that we have there on the left, we remove the two edges there. So when you remove those two edges which are in the intersection G1 intersection G2, we get uh, the ring sum. So for the ring sum, we look at the union then remove the intersection. So I will draw the union there as it is then remove the edges, those two edges that are in the intersection. So I will remove the edge of V2, V3, then the edge of V3, V5. And what we have there, which is remaining, that's the ring sum of G1 and G2.